Thank you for joining me, fellow Guardians. This is Sam from Multiverse Mission Control, and today's quest is Hob. So, I did a bit of wandering off-screen, and I made two discoveries, starting with what I expect to be the shorter of the two, right outside the armory here. I do believe I found the way to our last parasite. Over here! This little grapple, which would have passed completely by my notice before. So, now we're here. Now we just need to find a little sprite buddy to loose. Get the job done. <laughs> Keep jumping over it. It's like it's only... It's not quite enough to stop me. Still so gruesome. Poor little buddy. Died of rabies. Evil, evil rabies. Oh fuck. No. 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 Can that just not anymore? Please? What is that now? How many of these things are there? Okay, so there's another grapple. Wait. Actually, I didn't want to do that. Ah, uh, crap. Well, it'll probably let me back. I shouldn't wonder. Meantime, this is a gate I've previously opened. I did not even need... Ugh. Well, no matter. I'm still nearby. And so is the solution, mark my words. Not there. I may just need to new tube back. Uh. Wait. Hold on. Hold on. There we go. Whoops. Wrong. Incorrect. There we go. I hit up when I should hit right. Whoa, what the? Bleh? Sight glitch. <laughs> no worries. I hey. Okay, that that's a bit... That's kind of impeding my progress, actually. I gotta wait for my mana to recharge. Okay. Well, Sprite Buddy. So I had to come over here anyway. Alright, I'll meet you over yonder so we can do our thing. Oh, Butterfly! Can't get it from this angle. I'll wait for the corruption to stop. Too bad I can't just snipe it. Put it out of its misery that way. May just have to trigger it. Hello! Yes, brains. Zombie. Bye. Okay. And now to get rid of this gunk once and for all. I think we've all had quite enough of you. That was for my arm. Sup? Nothing like a good spring cleaning to put your soul at ease. Now then. I still don't know how to get to that other butterfly there. But I'll find a way. I'm determined. And there's a lot less things to jump around as well. Oh. It was less of an ish than I thought. Ah uh -uh. <laughs> Okay. So the second of my discoveries is probably going to be the more time consuming. Which is why I saved that for the order I did. Wow. This is like way at the beginning of the game. Bastion wrecked this wall to avoid that corruption in the first place. Well, here it is. Too bad I can't get that back. But, it went for a good cause. Suppose there's that. So, the second of my discoveries. 
is north of Dome Shadow, where I noticed a certain gathering of fog. Places I hadn't been. Which is just a bad mark on the adventurer's report card. So. Up yonder. We've got up top here. A slidey section ending in a grapple point. So, YOLO! Carpe diem! Seize the day! And the grapple point, please, so I don't fall to my death. There we go. Hmm. Yes? Is there a vantage point around here? Uh, I mean a vista. Nah. Not yet. There will be. I shouldn't wonder. Probably that one. Over left. I mean right. Left is where I'm going. Now I'm going right. Right. Oh. Never mind. There's a warper. I'll check that in just a moment. Hmm. Oh, that's just to get back where I came. Good. That way you're not stuck, should you ever decide to bail. Get more upgrades and the like beforehand. Alright. Riding on the wind. Wherever it may take me. We got slidey down that way, or slidey down that way. Who's to say which is the more favorable? You can't tell until you take the route. This doesn't lead anywhere. Or so it seems. Perhaps when I raise more land. But for right now, this one definitely looked like it was gone somewhere. Guess I have to hop right, slide down a bit more first, then hop left. There we go. Okay. I heard something nasty. Oh, hi. I didn't mean you. You're not, you, you're not nasty as far as I know. Well, I mean, you're just trying to stab me. That does uh, put you a bit outside of my... I mean, I don't have high standards. I just don't like getting stabbed. What can I say? Hi. Bye bye. Did I use up all that health already? Or did it disappear? No. Oh well. So, I'm assuming this will raise some land. What is that? That looked like an eyeball was watching me up there. Okay. Huh. There was the warp pad. Okay. <laughs> no longer need to turn myself into molecules to get up here. That's pretty nice. Can't take that for granted. Not that turning into molecules isn't cool or nothing. It certainly is. You just can't forget how it feels to walk on your own two feet. I, th I feel there's something in that. Exercise, among other things. <laughs> Can I cut some grass for health? I can. Good. Legend of Zelda style. Hello. You need a big old keyblade. I also feel like I've been here. I think I have. Hmm. So 
to. Did I actually um, accomplish anything here? I don't know. It's difficult to say. Let's meet back up. I guess I... Huh? Oh! Gotta head back to Great Sprite. You know what? That makes sense. I restored all his power, so now he's got goodies for me. Probably the next Great Core, I shouldn't wonder. So let's find a Pneumotube. Okay, I, I either need to like drop my own little sticky notes for this game or else have a walkthrough on me at all times. Hi guys! Rescued all the sprites. Everyone in their place. Heh. <laughs> Shaking like a happy tree. So! Ah, great core. Mother's gift. Cool. Uh, now what? That's... Close to a pneumo tube. Okay, good. So I guess that's the last core. This might be the end of the game, actually. I'm guessing more of the collectibles were g uh, gonna be available in the dungeons and whatnot. If I wanted to follow that route. Oh. You know what? That's something for your own playthrough, right? Wait. Am I supposed to get in there? Oh, doy. Oh, and I saw it just as I fell. Now am I gonna am I gonna glitch myself to death? Nope. Rolls for days. Now, give me that grapple. Come on. I'm just under it, fine. I'll do it again. So I'm back at the Titan. Guess all these great cores are for you, big guy. Yeah, apparently so. And once more. But it seems there are two switches. Is Bastion, is, uh, Bastion gonna come down? Help me out here? Or am I just gonna need to dash between the two of them? Hey, buddy! How you doing? Let's rock. You are so ninja, by the way. You just always come when you're needed. Bastion is never late, nor is he early. He arrives precisely when he is needed. Yes. All right. You are a gunman, kind of. Kimi ga. Is that a giant flower up there? I never realized. Ascension. So we got a giant robot. What do we do with it? Or do we do anything? Do we just let him do his thing? Do I need to get to the head? Alright! The world is mine! Hello! I mean yours! Totally yours! It's <laughs> cool. Okay. Thanks.
There's a switch. I'm just assuming here. Correct me if I'm wrong. Ah, many grapple points. Eh. I gotta remember to jump and do it. Else I just fall into the pit repeatedly. <laughs> Works of this magnitude require efforts on both the strong and the weak. The big and the small. He can reach his big arm up here, but he can't make minor tweaks like these without crashing the system, I should imagine. Good thing I got so much magic. Energy, whatever. Don't fall to your death. I've seen quite enough of that for this playthrough. Yeah, this is like a giant one of the flowers. With corruption on it. Alright. Oh, and an Umo tube. Just in case I decide to chicken out. Like so. No, not my problem. <laughs> nah. Let's let's finish what we started. Yeah. I just have a feeling. Final boss. Let's go. Oh, I'm not controlling this at all. Some dudes on thrones. A summit. Hello. Whoa! Oh, hi. You're still alive. Oh, please tell me I didn't just get corrupted. Oh, hello, mystery dude. Person. I am poison. Crap. I'm good. I'm not controlling this part. Okay. Um. Help. Oh, God. No. I'm dying. Oh, lots of butterflies. What? Hello. Can you help me? Please? Dying. Caffeine up lungs. Oh, good. I assume. Oh, please don't tell me that caused you to die, though. We good? How are things? Is everything good? So you were the one planting the butterflies everywhere. Why am I why is my dude being defiant? Huh. I seem to be able to like reach toward her hand or reach away. But I don't really have context. I also don't think she even spoke a language that's real. Okay, whatever. What? Okay, so it's the light is going between her and that dude. I don't get it. I mean, you saved me. I'm assuming you're a good person. Why would it be going over there? I don't get it. 
Unless you're like the source of the corruption. I'm pretty sure this is something I would have known if I had gotten more of the archives. Um. Okay. It did say in the trophy section there were two that just said make a choice at the tower one of which was called the greatest purge so I'm glad I didn't pick that one I feel like that would have been bad okay that's the game hmm I was not prepared I, I was not prepared for it to be over this quick Okay. And then, uh, like, the other archive trophies read, like, something, something up to besieged. Didn't seem like the typical, um, dudes get too greedy and the apocalypse happens so much as something happened to the dudes. Which was refreshing. But then I haven't actually seen them, I don't know for sure. Uh,. You know, in the context that she healed me, it makes no sense to choose the the random dude. <laughs> like, why? Hmm. Guess you gotta do some lore digging for this. To make any sense. How you doing, Bastion? Huh? Hmm? Hmm? Hmm. That did not seem like it was over. So, you can... Go explore the entire world at this point now. From this balcony. On the one hand, it feels like I'm leaving something undone here, but on the other, that seemed like a pretty definitive ending. I mean, I don't got any context for any of this. None of this is even being spoken in a language I get. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, was, it went like, awaken... Catastrophe and then besieged. Whatever. Then there was the Great Purge. I don't know. I I feel like the only thing that's going to happen is I'm going to find something that makes the Purge look more like the sensible option. And that just coming out of my mouth makes me feel like, no, Dark Side, Bad Sam. <laughs> um... That seems to be the end of the powers I can get at any rate. I've kind of also wanted this series to wrap up for a bit so I could get on to other stuff. Like, uh... Like Attack on Titan 2 or Owlboy or Heartbound. Stuff like that. Some... Man, it feels like I, I'm just being really lazy with this world, but... I don't know. I mean, if I've come this far, let's just. 
I uh, was about to say let's just do the crate purge to see what happens, but that seems like a terrible reason. Because that could potentially be the apocalypse. You don't just do that because you're curious or bored. Uh, I guess the thing to do would be to hunt down the archives and see if they granted any additional insight. But I somehow doubt it. You know, though Bastion was uh, suspicious of the s mis mysterious person, so maybe that gift isn't all it's cracked up to be. Eh. Let me see if I can listen closely this time. Because, you know, it may also be the case that she's just leeching life off of these dudes. And that she's actually the bad guy. It does just seem a little convenient that she has control over the corruption. I mean, she's wrapped in it. I mean, for all I know, I did just cause the apocalypse over again with the first choice. It's hard to think you're evil when you're smiling at the butterfly like that, though. Makes it... But then you draw your sword. So, like... Eh. Oh. I have to fight now. Oh my. Give me health. That was very timely. Hmm. You know, usually the true ending does involve an extra boss fight. You know, if that was the ending I was supposed to get, I feel like Big Bro Bastion would have been patting me on the back. Instead, he's like showing me a secret thing going, you done did something you didn't... You didn't know all the context. So much health. Plus I got regeneration, don't I? Oh yeah. Uh, 
Oh, I'm dead. But I got Vita Chamber. Right? Or is that just it? Game over. What? Why all the way back here? Ah. Yeah, you're still mad. I get it. Why are these things just glitched out? Blast it. I guess this is the armory. Convenient point if the game, if you ever decide like, hey, I didn't get enough upgrades. Let's do this over. You know, I'm still not sure if this is the evil option yet, but it certainly seems a heck of a lot more you know, climactic. You better be losing health in each of these, because this is going to get old real quick. Dang! And with all these glitched things, I can't tell which ones are the live ones anymore. Or if I'm even getting health anymore. I wish. That just means I made enemies kill each other. Which is funny, but... Give me my health. Give me my win. Here's some health. Uh, which one's the right dude? Oh, there we go.
There we go. Sorry. But I think you're kind of blowing up the world and stuff. You also died inexplicably. If that's even what you did. Not. Okay. This is what's happening now. Apparently. No, you were the corruption the whole time. I no longer feel bad. <laughs> Go to hell. Oh, now I get the chair. <laughs> yes. Good. And it adjusts to my height. Nice. So... Great Purge was actually maybe the right one. Titan looks to be doing good. He can pull the tower down. Mm. I'll bet like the archives would have shown me like how she blew everything up. <laughs> or something like that. You know what, that should have been obvious from the get-go. It was like... It was a semi-organic thing that I was fighting against the whole time. It was never like the robots or stuff like that. Oh, and look, all the sprites are coming out. Yep, yep, totally did the right thing. Okay. In fact, I shouldn't have even made that choice before. Oh, and all the dudes are coming out! My people are alive! Okay, you know what I should have done? I should have run through the first... I should have... I should have gotten all the archives before I even went in that room. Before even making that choice. Clearly, I needed more context. <sighs> Thanks, Bastion, for the heads up, because I, I was dumb. I did not even think that through. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Good thing I had that save point to work back to with the timelines and whatnot. Okay, so I guess uh, final assessment of the game type. Um... Let's get the bad stuff out of the way first. This is a super glitchy game, and nowhere was that more apparent than in that fight. <laughs> I mean, I, I you saw for yourself, but... I genuinely liked exploring everything. I'm typically bad at puzzle games, um, but I picked this up easier than some of the past ones I could name. Um... In a lot of sense, in a lot of ways, I think. I I like the uh, imp the implementation of the Vita Chambers because, you know, it's accessible to Bastion, hanging out with the sprites. No, no. Oh. His purpose was so fulfilled, so he just shuts down. That's bittersweet. That's some melancholy right there. Uh, it's like that company extra credits talked about in their one episode. I need to put their name up on the screen. Well, uh... Yeah. But you know what? Super pretty game. Genuinely enjoyable. Um, puzzling and... Combat wasn't like amazing, but it filled the gaps okay. I liked how I d didn't know what to expect from the next dude, like the volt, the teleporting volt shamans or the roly-poly armor dudes or whatnot. Especially that last fight, holy crap. Like, that would have been... <laughs> That was actually amazing, I just couldn't appreciate it through the swarm of glitches. Uh, but yeah. So, I guess... This is really the game for the explorer who will take their time rather than me doing Let's Play. In fact, I feel like 
would have enjoyed it more if I didn't feel like I had to fill every space with my own personal noise. If I could just, you know, get in and explore. But, yeah, well, that comes with the territory, right? Uh... I don't think it, um, I never got a good idea of what was going on. I'm sure the archives would have provided a bit of that. But, like, I feel like there have been other nonverbal games that, uh, were conveyed better, but, yeah, well. In a lot of ways, this game is kind of piggybacking off, uh, Journey, Rhyme, other games with the red... <laughs> Red cloaked silent protagonist, but you know it's. I was genuinely happy seeing the corruption flash away because that is just a hope we we need to have more of for the future. You know that we're not gonna screw up the planet, <laughs> that we are in fact going to make the planet come back to life, bounce back. That's nice. Freeing the sprites. Petting all the aminals, being one with nature, and technology at one, t at both at the same time. It's good stuff. And is this Runic's first showing as uh, for a game? Because you know it's not bad. It is a good show. With a bit more polish, I'm sure that. Whatever they come up with next is probably going to blow people away. Because, I mean... <laughs> I, can, I will never forget those moments where, like, you were raised in the land and you saw, like, the working bastion, like, po po poke his head up like, Sup? <laughs> Going underground in the core of a great big machine. Rolling. Warping. Grappling. Clicking this and that to the other thing. Just seeing it all come together. <laughs> the genuine terror at not uh, trying to dodge the shark, for for example. Uh, so yeah, it's not a perfect game, but what it does with as far as emotional appeal, it does very well. So I can recommend it for that much at least. And. If, like, a parent were to get this for their kid and turn the gore off, this could, like, blow some kids' minds. Introduce them to the magic that this generation is capable of. And how much more potential it has! Also, if I hit continue, am I able to... Oh. Starts me right before the final battle. Good. So if I ever do decide to explore and lore dig and whatnot... I can do that. I'll tell you one thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna buy me some costumes here. Cause I never got to deck myself out and see how pretty I was. I was always saving up for stuff, but now it's the end. It's literally, we're done. What else is there to do? Uh... Ooh. Yeah. I also wanna see the animation for when you don a new outfit. If anything happens. I also need to find the last one of these. DUDE! Ah! Uh, ah, uh, I should have ignored the stats and just worn this the whole game. Ah, uh, so pretty. So, well. So that's Hob. Neat little indie title. Genuinely pretty, genuinely enjoyable. A few bugs, but nothing deal breaking. And you know, it's so chill I could actually see myself doing this while I'm editing other stuff. Just like poking around, this and that, trying to find the last bits of lore or last upgrades and whatnot and see what's good. But now I think I gotta stop babbling and. Uh, put an end to this, because, you know, I got other series I need to do, and, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and yup, that's your conclusion? <laughs> nah. Oh my god, 
That's an idle animation, like the arm is actually having a mind of its own for a second. Uh, I, I just... I want to go find Bastion and give him a big hug for sacrificing himself for the world. Uh. Okay. Well, this timeline has been stabilized. If you liked what you saw, please go support the developers and all they do, and spread as much positive energy as you can. But for now, thank you all for seeing it through to the end. Please comment and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And remember, you all have the potential to get good. Peace out. Quest complete. Bye-bye.